Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. So for today's video I'm going to be filming an updated what is on my iPhone 7 Plus because I filmed one back in July last year, like literally two days after I got it and there was pretty much nothing on it because obviously it was a brand new phone and I'd never really used it before and I literally had like a, probably a day's worth of apps on there and now there's a lot of stuff a year later because this is starting to come to the end of its life so I thought I would do one now. So yeah, I am actually filming this, hopefully on the day that you're watching this, if I manage to get it up in time and edit it and everything. It's currently like um, 9 o'clock in the morning, but I did have a different video that I'd planned to film this week, but I couldn't film it because I ordered some on Monday for it and it still hasn't arrived and it says it'll be here tomorrow, which is really annoying. So that'll have to go up next week now. Um, but yeah, it feels really weird sitting here filming a video because I'm not sat here in absolute months like I always say over that, which is strange. But yeah, if you do enjoy watching this video, don't forget to leave a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. And without further ado, let's jump straight on into it. So I'm hoping that the way I'm going to film this right now is by doing a screen recording if that will work because obviously last time I did it screen recording it existed I had to do it through my MacBook and that was such a pain because it kept disconnecting. So hopefully this will make it a bit easier. So yeah, this is just my home screen, obviously. It says the day, it says the time. And then my lock screen is just like palm trees and it says, oh, spaces between us keep getting deeper, which is literally just a lock screen that I found on Google. So then you open up my phone and this is what you see. So on the first page, I've got like calendar, photos, camera. I've pretty much kept the layout there. I'm pretty sure it is at least the same as what it is when you get the phone. And um, so then obviously you've got like, camera weather and all your basic apple things which i would show you but i went through all that last time so i literally think that is pointless so i've just got like app store i've got a lot of unopened emails as in i've got 975 which that is a lot but and that pretty much sums me up so yeah then i've just got safari and settings so at the bottom is where i've kind of switched up the layout a bit so first off i've got messages and all of those unopened messages are pretty much like you know when you sign up for something like when I, when I log into say my google account i get like a pin sent to my phone and then i just have to type the pin in so whenever i actually bother open the messages message or like deliveries off dpd things like that so that's what they are and then the next one along is twitter so um this is my twitter in case you were interested that is my account there I'm gonna give myself a cheeky plug because i'm literally like 21 followers away from 9k I'm not gonna lie, that would be pretty nice to hit. Like that, that is, that would be crazy. So yeah, it's just at Kate underscore Dunley XX. Absolutely love like Twitter and just scrolling through my timeline, being nosy, because it can give you hours of entertainment. It's probably like my favorite social media and it has been since I was about 11. Um, so yeah, we're coming off there, we're back on my home screen, obviously next thing along is Snapchat. I'm pretty sure everyone knows what snapchat is and probably has snapchat so yeah and um, you can currently see my leg my studio light and my camera hi there so again this is my snapchat account there's not really much to show you like i don't want to go on anything because i don't want to show people's usernames if they don't want it but yeah um, and then and next one along i've got music so i've not actually used this in probably about six seven months because when i passed my driving test i got spotify so i could just listen to whatever i wanted in the car like i upgraded to the premium version which is like five pound a month so it's not bad at all because the amount of money i was spending on here would have been more so yeah don't really use music anymore and then coming along to the next page first thing i've got is facetime and calculator you know what they are and then this folder called extras which has got compass tips voice memos contacts find friends find iphone files basically apple things that i just don't use and then I've got iMovie which I occasionally use on my phone if I want to like trim down a clip or something but generally speaking like for these videos I will always edit on my Mac because it's so much easier and then I've got a folder called Apple stuff which has got numbers pages clips iTunes podcast watch obviously I don't have an Apple watch or anything so it is pretty pointless folder to me and then the only thing I've really ever used in there is pages when I was at college because I could work on my Mac and then switch to my phone and like work between the two but don't use that anymore next thing along is Facebook obviously you know what Facebook is and then I've got Instagram 
so just go on here so yeah that is my instagram again if you want to follow it you're more than welcome to uh yeah i don't really post like a ridiculous amount and then again i guess i kind of do post quite a lot for instagram and it makes my life look a lot more exciting than it actually is because it's just got the, like the highlights but i feel like that's what everyone's instagram is like and then obviously next along i've got youtube which is what you're watching this on now so you definitely do know what youtube is and um, so yeah that's like this is my account which i watch videos off because this is the account i've had since i was like probably 10 or 11 or something like that and then the account that you're watching this off now i literally just use for uploading pretty much and um, so yeah and also i've got my vodafone which is pretty much just how much like data i've got left and texts and messages and things like that so i've got six days left and 13 gigabytes of data which is quite a bit but i find that in months when i like go on holiday and stuff that's way way less and then we've got time hop which i absolutely love which shows like my tweets and everything from one two three four years ago today so a year ago today i tweeted i'm 18 in seven months today that's so scary and i'm not ready to be an adult yet five months after turning 18 i can still agree with that and tell you that i'm no more of an adult than i was back then I'm still a child and i've got play memories which i can use to wirelessly transport clips from this camera onto my phone or um photos or anything like that um, my fitness pal which is a thing where you can like type in foods and see how much like calories and stuff they've got in it i used to use this quite a bit and try and like work things out but i just kind of gave up on it and that was that then i have stagecoach which i should probably delete now because i haven't got on a bus in about eight months since i passed my driving test so it's a bit pointless me having a bus timetable and um, instagram analyzer this is just like a thing where it shows you who's followed you who's unfollowed you and um, who's liking a lot of your pictures who's not following you back you're not following back all things like that in case you're nosy like i am and then there's a thing called crowdfire which again is a social media thing and it just shows like who's unfollowed and followed you on twitter who's following you that isn't active like they have tweeted for more than a certain amount of time or you can schedule your post to go up at like the most popular time and things like that which i don't think is true because if you actually do that like it's always when no one's on it it's like eight o'clock in the morning and then obviously i've got spotify which i've heavily used this year and um, so yeah as you can see my driving playlist is a bit random it's got a bit of frozen and a toy story in there but yeah that's my um spotify in case you wonder i love it literally has high school musical there like that just sums me up bitmoji which is the little cartoon characters what you have on snapchat and um, splashy dots which is like a game which i used to play don't really play it anymore and then i've got countdown plus which again i don't really have anything in it at the moment except for like christmas my 19th birthday holiday next year because at this time of year there is literally nothing to count down and then i've got super drug and boots which is for like my points app i've got nationwide which is for my bank account and see how i'm lying in bed and spending money without even moving and you know all that good stuff and then i've got uni days which is just student discount free prints which i use every month to get basically all the pictures i've took throughout the month i'll get them printed off and then you just pay for postage which is only about two pound for about 40 pictures um, and then i put them in my scrapbooks making a big scrapbook of the whole of this year even though i'm only up to july and it's currently november so i'm a bit behind and it is so depressing like stick sticking holiday pictures in and stuff and i'm like oh my god the weather outside is actually atrocious that's a big word for me and i've got pocket camp which oh it's it's like this game um which i used to be absolutely obsessed with when it came out i used to have it on nintendo and it won't let me play it now because i've not updated it but yeah um i used to play this like every single day when it came out and then i just seem to kind of forget about it which we'll find with a lot of apps that i have and that's kind of that and i've got 21 buttons i use occasionally i use this to post some of my outfits again it's saying i've got to update it which i can't bother to do and then i've got photography and editing and um, so there's facetune piconic 
flipper ground which you can make like collages and pictures with insta blur insta size perfect 365 and i absolutely love this because you can literally go in it and like turn your hair pink and like you can do really crazy things to your face not so much like well maybe it's like photoshop i've never actually used it and then this thing called filteria which makes everything look like it's really in the past sort of like so if like, i take a picture now here it just kind of adds filters and things like that pretty boring uh, and then obviously i've got whatsapp which is you probably know what whatsapp is wish which is a thing what i've seen a lot of people on youtube making videos about ordering things from it i'm a graphic designer yeah i'm not bothering signing in but yeah you can get like things for cheap and for free on it which is supposed to be like 600 pounds and they're reduced to 10 pounds they most definitely aren't because they're absolute crap when they arrive but that's the idea and then i've got apple tv which again i don't have an apple tv but it came with the phone so i've just left it there then i've got metro taxis in case i want a taxi and um, mcdonald's because obviously everyone needs a mcdonald's app in their life roku which is literally just a remote control because we have like these things called Rocky Box because we don't have a smart TV. So it has like Now TV, Netflix, YouTube, and then all the iPlayers and everything. Um, but instead of like using the actual remote, I can do it on here because when I've got to type in logins and stuff, it is effort like going up, down, right, left, this, this, this. So I can literally just go on keyboard and actually type it in, which is so much easier. Then I've got the Hollister app, which is for my points. Depop, which I've never actually sold anything on. TikTok, which used to be Musical.ly. And again, I probably use this about once every six months if I'm really bored and have nothing else to click on. Makeup Plus. What the hell is that? I don't even know what this is. You see, this is my problem. Live Makeup. Oh, it's that thing where you can put like Ardell washes on stuff and it don't really work. But yeah, again, you can, I think you can mess around with it. Yeah, like that looks absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> and then I've got Uber Eats because I can order McDonald's off it. And, and then Canva. Oh no, I think this is the app I was on about before that does the old fashioned things. Yeah. Oh no, it isn't. It's... Um, it's what I use for my Instagram highlights, like the little circles, so I put like holiday, this, that and the other just to make it look a bit more pretty. Then I've got the Love Island app, which when Love Island was on, I used to play a bit and I used to be so excited for the new level to come out, but again, it ended and I just stopped playing it. This followers app here, which actually basically hacked into my Instagram account and started liking random pictures from random people, so I've logged out of that now and I should probably like get rid of it measure which is the strangest app ever so you can literally like you'll probably see here so you have to move your phone and then i can literally measure like from that side of my hand to that side so it's like 12 centimeters it's the strangest thing but it is quite interesting uh, and then I have House Party, which is like a group video call kind of app. HP Smart, which means I can print things off my phone on my printer because it's wireless. Amazon, again, you probably know what Amazon is. Weatherspoons, you'll know what Weatherspoons is. The X Factor now. Normally, I would use the X Factor app like so much about every week. But to be honest, this year, I've barely even watched it because I've just kind of got a bit bored of it heart rate free which is this really weird thing where if you put your finger on this camera here it can take your pulse which is pretty strange i don't understand how it works like literally off your camera but it actually does work because yeah i saw it in app store and i was kind of interested then i've got akinator which is this really strange app where you can like think of any sort of famous person youtuber anything like that answer questions and it pretty much always guesses who it is like i don't know how it does it and then, I've, and then I've just got YouTube Studio, which is like um, all your stats to do with your videos and everything like that. So you've got like your watch time, your viewers, your subscribers, 
things like that you can reply to comments you can hide them it just makes it a bit easier than using the actual website because obviously that is like a mobile version on your phone and then a thing called Shmule, which it was supposed to be like a singing kind of thing i didn't even know what you call it but yeah it's a load of rubbish so i may as well delete that as well and that is pretty much everything that i actually have on my iphone so yeah Oh my god so i just had like an actual heart attack because my phone it didn't like save the recording straight away i looked and i was like oh my god i don't tell me i've got to film this again because i've literally got like six hours to get it edited and uploaded now which is going to be pushing it but it has saved it so we're all good so yeah if you have enjoyed watching this video don't forget to leave a big thumbs up and subscribe down below and i'll be back next friday at 4 30 hopefully with the video that i intended to film today bye